here with the Rolarlo 110 Mini 110 monster truck on the Terminator. I've had the truck for two weeks now, so this is a bit of an update. Uh, going over issues that I found in my time running it and issues that uh, I'm going to go over that I've seen other people have problems with. First and foremost, everybody knows about the shocks, the standoffs at this point. Uh, I've broken three standoff screws already. Same exact standoff screw, this one, right? However, my shock tower is bent. My rear shock tower is bent. It's it's a little bit hard to see, but it's this side right here that's bent forward. Okay, so that's that was kind of the mains of the issues. Seen guys talking about out the box. They got all four wheels wobbling. Uh, I've heard people getting their truck and the diffs being installed wrong. Uh, as far as one being properly installed and then the other one being installed backwards to where this wheel is going this way and this wheel is going this way. It's not a center diff issue, it's the installation of the front and rear diff that was wrong. Another thing that I've seen, people have issues with their lights. I'm chucking that up to this switch right here. The hybrid has the hybrid switch, or it might be this one. I think it's this one. Stupid hybrid switch. Because all you have to do is press channel 5, your light should come on. There's guys that are saying that channel 5 is acting like a momentary switch and they have to use channel six and other little issues. Uh, I've seen broken hinge pin holders because they are actually just plastic caps. I, sh I turned the car on by accident. But yeah, they're just plastic caps at the end. Easy break. Uh, another issue, the wheelie bars, the wheels on the wheelie bar, you start riding on this thing, they bend, still work, they just, it's not straight anymore, major, major issue, I've only seen this with the carbon fiber version, I haven't seen it with the metal version, I know the metal version is a weaker motor setup so it's not as big of a problem however the diff cups these are supposed to hold up to 3s and let's see if i can this this truck comes with a 3s out the box and see right there that diff cup it doesn't even want to rotate sometimes that diff cup is cooked <coughs> diff cup stripping pretty good See all that play right there? All that play. That's the pin just rocking inside the cup because the cup's cracking. The material's coming out. I did the long full size lipo conversion also. Very easy to do. You unbolt this one and this one it takes your ESC out 
you lift your ESC out, you take it off the plate itself, you put it onto the center brace. The center brace has these little notches. The truck comes with two zip ties. You feed the zip ties through, you zip tie the ESC to the upper mount or the upper brace. Then you put the hooks, the longer straps, and this little battery stop thing back here. Super, super straightforward. What I don't like about it, you can see body mount and how it sits here. I adjusted the body mount to sit as high as it could go so that when the body sits, it's sitting more like that instead of further down because the ESC sat a little bit more in the cab area of the truck. Now, problem, how Rolarlo, Rolarlo puts out a video explaining exactly how to do this installation. How do you suggest that your customers put their ESC on top of the center brace one bad landing upside down and your ESC is toast are you going to continue to warranty these electronics out as people bust them up because you Mr. Rilarlo not Mr. as a company but you Rilarlo Su you suggest this location. This is per your instructions. Doesn't really make sense. Like you just flip it. Bam. That close. Now, real world situation, you know everything flexes. It's not going to land soft like that. Body, obviously, is going to sit there on top and protect it. You could try to argue with me all you want that that's going to protect it. It's not. This is going to smash. You can see I have... this. The, the cab's already been crushed. And this is pre... Pre-battery swap. This was like this. Anyways. So. Got everything all chucked up. Oh, yeah. So... It, a little dent in the wheel no biggie <clears throat> I feel like I'm missing a ton of stuff but I'm just gonna send it from here go out have fun on 2 West we'll be out there in a sec here we are we outside we outside 2S. A lot more manageable on 2S. Oh, a lot more manageable on 2S. Still fast. It, I don't think it has enough on 2S to self right, so I'm not gonna sit there it'll still lift the wheels on 2S still no issue at all
almost actually flipped itself.
I, I just went head on with that tree right there. Today, We've got some beaters on Air Max 90s with some beaters. <laughs> 